definitely makes it a little bit easier, man. I'm a, I'm a firm believer in collaboration, whether it's this project that I put out or just being out, you know, with what I do and really supporting and being behind and anything that I can do to kind of help people on the scene, behind the scene, whatever. I'm a firm believer in, you know, collaborating and then and building to get, get somewhere. And we're all trying to do something to get you know? Just to be able to put it out, put it out there. Like he was just a really rock hard. And I didn't know until like a couple weeks later, um, after they had left from Atlanta. Because my little sister's graduation high school graduation. One of my friends I was at the graduation party afterwards sends me a screenshot of like that radio show that weekend. Her. And like tracks from that project were on the I mean we're we're on the show. But it's from project that at the time I actually did not have out So just knowing the platform, like people you know, like they look forward to the show, they look forward to the music. So it kinda of took on a whole other like life where kind of slow kinda of sped up the process. That like, makes sense. Not the project. That makes sense. Like especially with run up. And he played one other on there too, so all of them came out. So I really had, I was really in the position where I was like, yo, I have to just roll this out. But I had, you know, I had certain things already kind of in place. You know, it wasn't too much of a case in the process. Yeah, yeah. It was just. Nonetheless, this is how it all worked. I released the project with no real campaign. And it kind of just took me to <laughs> the uh, art direction has been crazy on the projects. Uh, it's been real crazy. I like it. Yeah, on the new one for sure, man. That's, that's my homie. Um, and then you acquired Kev, and you know, he's one of the friends, Paris Pierce, visual, graphic artist, Jack of all trades, super talented. He is an album for Quiet Kev. And all the visuals, too, for Run Up. Do you feel like colors and sound have like oh, absolutely, man. I, I definitely envision colors all the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I need to let this hand to start visuals and stuff like that. So keep that in mind. So yeah, man. Definitely the whole sound. Pick up and then what's your favorite pair? Um, man, latest pickup? This might be bugging too, man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> man. The, the Air Force One, the, the Special Force One, that high top. Oh, which color? Yeah, I got the, I have the black one with the gum bottom. That's my most recent one, man. That's such a dope shoe, man. It I is. really like how the Air Force One continues to reinvent. Um, the model. already a classic silhouette, yeah. man. It'll yeah. never go out of style. Yeah. So to like totally reinvent that, take it down, and make it just super technical. It's ridiculous. It's just something that really... Yeah, that was yeah. A serious. Yeah, the Air Force one's my, um, definitely my... Go to recent, maybe. Most recent pickup. But my go to, I mean, I'm, I love Moose, so I wear a bunch of Moose like all the time. Yeah. Every now and then, you know, I switch stuff up a little bit, but for me, I'm always set on a certain rotation and like don't be straight from that. You know, mm -hmm. I do have quite a bit. Yeah. And I, like I said, I switch it up every now and then, but I love Ultra Boost. Really. <laughs> for advertising, like, this is on the strength of people who just like the vibe. They like that. That's dope, that's nice. Yeah. And then there are people that have a pocket to do for that. That's what that's the blessing that allows people to see. As long as you're visible and doing something that people like, and they're behind it a thousand percent, that's it. That's what you're doing, man. It's, it's one of those. I just watched my first like full Western party this past week. 
but there was all off like I was asleep on the couch. Yeah, that's how it is. It's that vibe. It's like maybe some, it's like that sitting on the couch, yeah. three in the morning. I'm gonna exactly. the TV watch me, <laughs> and I turn the TV on. But it's still on, black and white. Just, yeah. <laughs> it's like they storytelling kind of what they was doing was just like, yeah. what? It was a pretty cool uh, plot because yeah. they were some savages, you know? They was yeah. out here. Wild West, man. Stuff is real. Stuff is real. Yeah, Westerns is always that way. That and like wartime. And then stuff outside too, man. Like being from Atlanta, there's been a lot of cool moments. Like, you know, Falcons during Michael Vick's. I wish I could have lived down here. I was, I was such a diehard Mike fan. I think for me, like, I just didn't even have a team after, like, he went to jail. I was just like, I mean, what do I do now? Dude, Who is that? <laughs> <laughs> like, what? He was, what? He was truly special, man. Just the combination of speed and excitement. He just had this excitement, like, every time. It's not many people who've been able to do that. You would like to start with the work with or want to work with him? Best producer, it would definitely just be cool to be in a space with Pharrell. Because growing up being a kid, that was always in so many other things. I expressed myself in so many other ways and often just felt to myself outside. Like him and those boys from Virginia Beach really. Uh, Thrice Groove, we're a crew, ATL, and now rocking with Free Hype. 